Hi. You know, many people are talking about Trump being found guilty for all of those crimes. And the conversation is about him still running for office and how popular he is and how the chances are that he might get in office and what, this is all speculation, what he will be about and what he will do. And he has said what he would be about and what he would do. And this is also challenging <clears throat> to the population. But at the same time, there's something else that's taking place that's just as challenging. And it is addressing the concerns of the poor, eradicating poverty from the face of America and hopefully from the world. Now this, my friends, is not a small matter. This is a very serious matter. It is so serious until it actually affects the economics. It affects every marketing system, not just here in this country, but everywhere. Poverty is everywhere. And in order for that to change a system that's been in existence since humankind has been organizing themselves. Man, wherever he has gone, has always wanted to divide and conquer. And the pain and suffering is the evidence of its failure to meet the basic guidelines for human existence. And so, in order for that to change, that it have existed since time, it would require a power of a God. And that's what I offer to the people of America and the people of the world, a God, a power, a God expressed in power, the power of love, the power of love, the power of wanting for everyone the same satisfaction in life for them that you want for yourself. You want it bad enough till you've given it your heart to cause a manifestation visible enough spiritually for you to see and understand how to achieve such a wonderful plan such as this. My friends, yes, it is a tragic situation that America finds itself in with Trump in the games that he's playing, tricking and deceiving every opportunity he gets, lying, and the people confused, not knowing the truth, and no one willing to be heard giving them the truth, for maybe they don't know the truth or the truth is not permitted. However, it still remains an option for the people, but the people must want to know it. Or someone must be so filled with the power that they can't help but glow and people know by seeing it. There is a very simple way to do things, ladies and gentlemen, now. For all of the rich people in this world, all of the rich people in America, to say they are not going to be rich any more than their next door neighbor will be rich. That the lifestyle that they are accustomed to above that of others won't matter anymore because people will be able to live like they want to live. Wow. That could be a frightening situation and people would do whatever they can do to maintain that status because the fact that poverty, crime exists, they've accepted this as a normal way of life through every way and institution that they have established. It has been done in a way that this is acceptable. Your pain, your suffering is acceptable. But the power that puts you on this earth 
says it's not acceptable. But you must change your way of thinking. You must have a new mindset. Not one of competition. Not one of trying to outdo the other dog eat dog. No. Your thought is that the best, the best and only the best. And how is the best? Everyone is engaged in the process of creation. Now, if you hear any of the other videos, you will hear this. Everyone is engaged in the process of creating the goods and services that have been designed and established by the people as being essential for bringing satisfaction in the lives of people. That's making sure that their needs, their wants, and their desires are met. Making sure, my friends, that they have and experience peace and prosperity and freedom, joy and happiness, and that they live their dreams daily. They don't suffer for a lack of anything, food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, infrastructure, recreation, anything. What they have done is decided to create the best life that they can possibly experience on this earth. They have decided that they will utilize the free resources to engage themselves in something that they love doing and make sure that everyone participates and become part owners in the life that they have created. No one have a need to cheat, be a hater, a racist, a bigot, a liar, murder, crime and violence. None of that has to exist because it's been eliminated. To me, that is beautiful. Now, in order for that to happen, you the people, must want that above everything else. You, the people, must want that above everything else. There is a challenge. The challenge is that the status quo must remain. That's the challenge. And to maintain the status quo, that power would do whatever is absolutely necessary or required to do <clears throat> to maintain itself. Now, what do I mean by that? Yes, that power will lie, it will cheat, it will steal, it will kill, it will do whatever is necessary to maintain itself. Now, you, my friends, with a new mindset, speaking about a new way of life that would bring happiness and joy and all that other stuff to the people, you are now at odds with what they are willing to do. What are you willing to do? You're willing to challenge them by rebelling against them and willing, willing, my friends, to die before you give in. Now, this is why you must have a renewed mind because there is something secretly taking place and you have no idea what it is. And if I shared with you at this moment exactly what is taking place, you would not understand it. You couldn't believe it. You ain't there yet. But you will grow. You will know by the spirit of love. Well, <clears throat> I just wanted to say a few things to you tonight to let you know that this is not a simple matter. It involves all of us and the things that we do, where we engage in, the way we do things. Incidentally, the system of doing the business of a new way of life has already been put in place because it really meets the needs of the people. And it allows us to keep flowing without any real hesitation at all. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so very much. Now, in just in case you didn't understand what I meant about you engaging yourself in the process, I mean, 
having a job, having a career that you love doing, working, doing, making, creating, so that reservoir of goods and services overflow and no one would have to suffer. This is how you get rid of poverty. This is how you get rid of crime and the violence. This is how you have anybody living like they want to live. This is what I call divine. This is what I call God's way of life. Yes, and that's still that secret. Talk to you later.